I don't think there is uh, anyone who has had something to do with uh, medicine would not have used this uh, device. Yes, this is uh, a simple face mask, also called as uh, uh, Hudson's face mask. Welcome to this uh, episode of Beauty, where we will be talking about uh, Hudson's face mask, a brief about uh, the functional analysis and uh, how it is going to fare against a Venturi mask. Over the course of uh, next few minutes, we will be talking about the Hudson's face mask with regards to what is the minimum flow which is uh, needed, whether it's an arbitrary number or uh, is there a rational behind it. Uh, we will also be talking about uh, the effect of altering the fresh gas flow on uh, two of the most important parameters, namely rebreathing and the variation in the inspired oxygen concentration. The rationale behind uh, setting up the minimum flow is to minimize or reduce rebreathing. The recommended flow rate for the Hudson's face mask is about 3 to 6 liters per minute. How did we arrive at this uh, magic number? If we were to place a face mask flat down on a flat surface, it would enclose a volume of about 100 to 200 mils underneath it. This would uh, essentially mean you would need about 6 to 12 liters wash out any exhaled gases which might have accumulated under the mask at the end of previous expiration. However, the mask is not kept on a flat surface but applied on a face wherein the nose, the lips and chin project into the mask thereby reducing its volume by nearly 50% leaving behind a reservoir volume or a dead space volume of around 50 to 100 ml. This would mean a flow of 3 liters to 6 liters per minute would be enough to prevent rebreathing by washing out exhaled gases which would have accumulated under the mask from the previous expiration. So 3 liters per minute is 3000 ml per 60 seconds translating to about 50 ml per second. Similarly, 6 liters per minute would translate to 100 ml per second. Having understood the reason behind the minimum flow, uh, do we really prevent rebreathing with the minimum flow? It's no. However, the degree of rebreathing is of uh, either no clinical or physiological significance. However, if we reduce the flow below 3 liters per minute, it does become significant. Contrarily, if we increase the flow beyond 6 liters with an intention of uh, preventing rebreathing, it does not uh, achieve the purpose. All it would do is result in wastage of oxygen. So, if we find the need to increase the fresh gas flow beyond 6 to 8 liters, it would be better to switch to uh, non rebreathing face mask with a reservoir bag. Having addressed the issue of uh, rebreathing, we move on to the effect on inspired oxygen concentration. Hudson's face mask is classified as a variable performance device because the FiO2 varies from patient to patient and from situation to situation. Over the next few slides, involving a significant bit of uh, calculations, we will compare how the FiO2 varies from situation to situation and compare this as to how a Venturi mask would behave in those similar situations. So as a result of all these calculations, end of it, we should be able to understand as to 
why these devices are called as variable and fixed performance devices respective in all the calculations uh, which uh, is made subsequently i have made certain assumptions only for the purpose of making it easy to understand as well as making it easy for the calculations to be done so the first and foremost one is the inspiratory flow is fixed normally the inspiratory flow is high at the beginning of inspiration and exponentially declines as inspiration proceeds but for the purpose of for ease of understanding i have presumed that the inspiratory flow would be uniform and fixed all through the duration of inspiration the second assumption is the person would breathe in and out exactly as defined by the parameters set out namely the tidal volume respiratory rate and i e ratio with no pauses in between the third assumption is about the oxygen content of room air it has been assumed to be 20% for the ease of calculations as against the actual 21% the last one rather than an assumption more of a selection i have chosen an orange venturi to compare with the hudson space mask the reason being orange venturi has a 6 liter recommended flow for an fio2 of 31% however as we have understood in the previous uh, doodly it would generate a total flow of 48 liters so i have also chosen 6 liters per minute as flow for the hudson space mask also as there are uh, a significant bit of uh, calculations being done if you find that you are uh, a bit slow in uh, catching up with the pace of the video feel free to pause the video while you do the calculations once you've convinced yourself about the calculations you can unpause and then proceed so i have assumed a 6 liter per minute flow of fresh gas for a hudson's mask that would translate to 100 ml of flow per second uh, while uh, we have chosen an orange venturi which is a device which provides a 31% fio2 the recommended flow rate for an orange venturi is 6 liters per minute however it generates a total flow of 48 liters per minute that translates to about 800 ml per second so these values are a bit important so please uh, do the calculations and convince yourself about these numbers So the first scenario we would look at is a person breathing a tidal volume of 500 ml, respiratory rate being 10 breaths per minute, high E ratio of 1 is to 2. Now because he is having 10 breaths per minute, that would translate to each respiratory cycle being of 6 seconds. Because high E ratio is 1 is to 2, the 6 seconds would be divided. in the ratio of 1 is to 2 translating to an inspiratory duration of 2 seconds and a expiratory duration of 4 seconds now please remember the first assumption that the inspiratory flow is going to be uniform and fixed this tidal volume of 500 ml would flow in over a period of 2 seconds amounting to 250 ml per second So if we move on uh, to individual mass, the Hudson and the Venturi, as to how they perform in this given circumstance, as we have already known, Hudson mass with a 6 liter flow rate provides a flow rate of 100 ml per second. But because we need 250 ml of volume to go in each second, the other 150 ml over and above the flow rate which the Hudson mass provides will be room air. So totally, we will have 250 ml volume, of which 100 ml is oxygen by the Hudson mass, 150 ml is the room air. Now, room air, 150 ml of room air would have about 30 ml of oxygen. As a result, in the 250 ml of uh, the gas which goes in during each second of inspiration, 
there would be about 130 mils of oxygen. This would translate to an FiO2 of 52%. As we know, the orange venturi generates a total flow of 800 ml per second. The flow required in each second of inspiration is only 250. The FiO2 would continue to remain 31% because the total flow is far in excess of what is needed. We move on to the next scenario wherein we change the tidal volume to 800 ml keeping the respiratory rate and IE ratio the same. Now because the rate is 10 breaths per minute each cycle would be of a duration of 6 seconds as earlier. The inspiratory time and the expiratory time would remain 2 and 4 seconds as earlier because the I ratio is the same. This would mean the tiny volume of 800 ml has to be inspired over a duration of 2 seconds translating to a flow of about 400 ml per second. So how does the Hudson's face mask perform in this second scenario? We know the Hudson's face mask provides a flow of 100 ml per second. But the total volume which needs to go in each second is about 400 ml. So the remaining 300 ml has to be room air. So this 300 ml of room air will have around about 60 ml of oxygen in it. Thereby, the total volume of 400 ml which is inspired in each second would have an oxygen content of 160 ml. This would translate to an FiO2 of 40%. So we note that the FiO2 has dropped from 52 to 40. While the orange venturi, if you look at it, it generates a total flow of 800 ml per second, which is far in excess of 400 ml per second, which is needed for each second of inspiration. The FiO2 continues to remain at 31% as the entire volume which is going in during inspiration is met by the flow generated by the venture. We now move on to the third scenario where we reduce the tidal volume to 300 ml keeping the respiratory rate and IE ratio the same. Now because the rate and IE ratio remain unaltered the duration of each cycle remains 6 seconds while the duration of inspiration and expiration would continue to remain as 2 and 4 seconds respectively. This only changes the tidal volume which needs to go in each second. So as uh, the set tidal volume is 300 ml which needs to be written over 2 seconds, this would translate to a flow rate of around 150 ml over each second. So how do our Venturi and uh, Hudson's face mask behave in this new scenario. Hudson's face mask provides a total flow of 100 mils per second. The required flow rate during each second is only 150 mils. So the remaining 50 mils over and above what is provided with the Hudson's mask has to be room This 50 ml of room air will have 10 ml of oxygen translating to 110 ml of oxygen in the 150 ml of volume which is going in during each second of inspiration. This uh, translates to an FiO2 of around 73%. Orange Venturi by the virtue of generating a flow rate of around 800 ml per second, the entire inspiration inspired volume uh, is met by the Venturi. So the FiO2 remains at 31 percent. We move on to the next scenario where we keep the tidal volume at 500 mils but change the respiratory rate from 10 breaths per minute to 20 breaths per minute. However, we'll keep the I ratio same at 1 is 2. Now what does, how does it affect the various parameters? Each cycle would drop from 6 seconds to 3 seconds because the respiratory rate has doubled. Now because the I ratio is same 1 is to 2, the 3 seconds will be split in the ratio 1 is to 2, translating to an inspiratory duration of 1 second and expiratory duration of 2 seconds. 
So this tidy volume of 500 mils now has to go in over one second. That is 500 ml per second will be the flow rate. How does this affect the performance of each of these devices? Now, because we know Hudson's mass provides a flow rate of only 100 mils per minute, the 100 mils per second, the remaining 400 mils has to be room air. So the 400 mils of room air would have around about 80 ml of oxygen. So the total oxygen content in the 500 ml which would be inspired would be about 180 mils. 100 mils from the 100 mils of oxygen, 80 mils from the 400 mils of room air. So this would translate to an FiO2 of 36%. Whereas an orange venturi, because it generates flow of 800 ml per second, the entire 500 ml per second which is being breathed in would be met by the flow generated by the venturi, keeping the FiO2 constant at 31%. We move on to the last uh, scenario, wherein we keep the tidal volume same at 500 ml respiratory rate at about 10 breaths per minute but we change the I ratio we drop it from 1 is to 2 to 1 is to 1 now what this does is it allows more time for inspiration so because the rate is 10 breaths per minute each cycle remains at 6 seconds because I ratio has now become 1 is to 1 the duration of inspiration and expiration would be the same that is 3 seconds each so the tiny volume of 500 ml would now be breathed in over 3 seconds amounting to about 167 mils each second. So with this background if we look at the Hudson Space Mask, so the Hudson Space Mask provides 100 mil per second flow, the remaining 67 mils has to be met by room air. So this translates to about 114 mils of oxygen in 167 mils of total flow each second translating to an FiO2 of 68%. In contrast, because our inventory generates 800 mils per second flow, the entire volume, whatever we had, even in this scenario 167 mils per second would be entirely met by the flow generated by the inventory and it doesn't have to rely on further entrainment of room air. So the FiO2 remains at 31%. So as we have seen in the various scenarios over the last few slides, as the tidal volume decreases, IE ratio decreases and the respiratory rate decreases, the inspired oxygen concentration tends to progressively increase and the contrary or the vice versa happens if the tidy volume IE ratio and respiratory rate increases the FiO2 would drop as we have seen over the last few slides as to how each of these masks behave in uh, different circumstances we can note that the Hudson Space Mask with a flow rate of 6 liters of oxygen provides 6 liters of 100% oxygen flowing out of the mass. An orange venturi with a 6 liter set flow, 6 liters of uh, oxygen, generates a total flow of 48 liters, the FiO2 being 31%. However, when these devices are brought into contact with the patient, a new factor called as peak inspiratory demand is introduced. This peak inspiratory demand in turn is determined by three factors. The first one is respiratory rate, tidal volume and the IE ratio. As we have seen in the previous slide, as each of these parameters increases, the peak inspiratory demand increases. And as each of these parameters decreases, the peak inspiratory demand decreases. As we noted in the previous calculations, the peak inspiratory demand is generally in excess of what the total flow the Hudson Space Mass generates. As a result of which, whatever is in excess, the demand in excess of the flow rate generated by Hudson's Mass has to be entrained by 
Rumer. So this introduces a variable component of Rumer being entrained as a result of which FiO2 varies. While a Venturi mask generates a total flow which is generally in far excess of the peak inspiratory demand over a wide range of circumstances, a wide range of tidal volumes, respiratory rate and I ratio. There is no further need for additional room air to be entrained as the entire inspiratory demand is met by the flow generated by the venturi device as a result of which the FiO2 remains constant. Uh, this is uh, one of the main reason uh, why I would prefer them, prefer to call them rather as uh, low flow devices and high flow devices instead of fixed and variable performance devices. A low flow device generates a total flow of what we said, whereas a high flow device generates a total flow which is in excess of what we are setting. I hope this was uh, helpful and thank you.